Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. The camping season is fully upon us. I myself just returned from a Canada Day slash 4th of July Madawaska River canoeing trip where I got chewed up and spit out by the river and it was a blast. Uh, but whether you're into car camping, uh, hiking, backcountry camping, canoe camping, whatever kind of camping it is, you're probably interested in taking your tea with you if you're watching this channel. I know I am, and today I want to talk to you about my top five teas that I love for camping. And I'm super curious to know what are your top five teas, so be sure to leave your comments down below with what those are. If you're new to the channel, I'm Phil from Gen Tea. At Gen Tea, we specialize in tasting grade Chinese tea. And here on the YouTube channel, we cover things like how to brew, tea travel, and much, much more. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you know whenever we release a new video. Now let's get into it. Whenever I think about camping, whatever gear I'm bringing, I have to think about weight, ruggedness, but when I'm thinking about tea for camping, it's not just the weight and the ruggedness, but also the flavor and the function. So that's what's going to, that's what's helped me pick these five teas that I really love to bring along with me on a camping trip. Now I may not bring all five every time, and I might bring more than five sometimes because I'm a little bit crazy like that. But you know, this is just to give you a sense of what, where my head is at when I'm selecting teas. So number one, I should mention, these are not in any particular order of like my favorite to my least favorite, not at all. Tea is way too complicated and delicious for that. And I, I have trouble picking out a favorite on a day-to-day -day basis. So these are just in a random order. The first one is a Shempo Artois. This fantastic little puck of tea is so wonderful. First, it's portioned out. I don't have to think about getting it right. I just can toss that in a mug or toss it in my, in my Nalgene bottle and I can just go. Um, it's compact. You can beat the crap out of it and it's not going to get all, it's not going to turn into powder. And probably one of the things that's most interesting to me is when it gets really hot in the summer and steamy, you know, this tea comes from the jungle and has a cooling feature. Even if I drink it hot, it's gonna help me tolerate the, uh, the hot, humid days. So I love it for that. And if you think into yourself, that seems really weird. I'm not sure I believe this guy. Go ahead and try it next time it's hot and humid. I bet you'll be amazed. But keep in mind, when you drink hot tea, your immediate reaction will be to have a little sweat. That is normal, that is human. Consider 30 minutes after you've been drinking the tea how you feel. I'm telling you, you'll notice. Number two is another tour, but it's a shoe pour tour this time. So if you're familiar with our lineup, you'll know that we've had a shoe pour coin in the past, which I love. Um, but this, this little tour is just perfect for my uh, Nalgene. It's just a perfect portion. The, the coin I had to break in half and then kind of tuck that other half away carefully for later. With the Chupoir Trois, I can just toss that in my Nalgene, uh, add my, I happen to use boiling water, and then I let it cool. Yeah, it's a little hot on my hand for the first few minutes, but I deal with that. Um, and I just toss it in, put the boiling water, and I'm go I go. And I drink it when it's warm, and then I drink it later when it's cold. I also use this tea in the evening. It's always my go-to evening tea. I may have it on the water, I may have it on the hike, I may also have it in the evening. That's my wind-down tea as the sun sets behind the pine trees and I hear the loons call out and I sip my Chupuar Tua. I'm there. Number three is Tianjian. One of our friends on Discord, and I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to jump on our Discord channel. One of our friends on Discord described this tea. They said, it's as if Lapsam Sutrom and Shupuar got together and had a baby. And I thought, that is a perfect description of this tea. It's a delightful dark tea, but one major difference from our previous teas, which were all pressed teas, so very rugged, very easy to pack, throw it in a Ziploc and go, is this is a loose tea. So you might be thinking, how am I going to unpack that so that it doesn't get crushed? Well, first, it's dark tea, so you don't need to worry too much. It's not perfect if it's crushed, but you're camping. Give yourself a break. Second, you could also throw it in some lightweight tins. That's what I usually do. Just have some, find some little, I like to have mine measured out so I don't have to fuss with it. Again, 
you don't have to if you're car camping and you have the luxury to bring some bigger stuff you can always do that but i portion mine out throw them in the backpack and away i go and then my preferred time to drink it right we've got this smoky malty delicious dark tea right smoky campfire s'mores sunset right am i right try it out let me know how you liked it i've mentioned a couple teas that are pressed the shen and the shu puar tua i've mentioned tian jian which i enjoy around a campfire which is usually an evening activity you might be wondering what do you have for the morning well maybe you drink any of those in the morning and that's totally fine but i stay away from the shen puar and the other ones happen to be evening teas for me so that brings us to number four bai atsilan what a versatile tea first it's compact dense little balls of tea so it's also in the rugged category this guy travels really well you can throw them into a ziploc in the portions you need you can throw it into a big ziploc and just dish out what you need don't worry bayat silan can handle it second this is my morning tea a great pick me up but more importantly when i'm out back camping and i'm eating reconstituted scrambled eggs from a boil in the bag sack there's nothing better than to have a little croissant in a cup on the side to actually bring me something delicious and flavorful. Whew, I don't know if you've tried the scrambled eggs with bacon that are dehydrated and reconstituted, but it's nice to have a little something with some actual flavor to go along with those. The other great thing about Bayat Silan is I can kind of flex a little bit on the campsite with my friends if I want to. Yes, you can throw it in a travel mug or your Nalgene and add water and go. and I often do but I often also travel with some kind of a travel tea set in fact on my recent trip I was almost for sure the only one who brought porcelain and I pulled out a guy one and I did a little brewing session with my buddies and everybody was super impressed and even made fun of me a little bit for having such dainty little tea cups and you know if I said that camping was just all fun and games I feel like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be being entirely sincere You know, you're out in the woods, you're away from your normal routine. Everything's a little bit harder. You might have to walk to the community sink to do your dishes or to fetch water. You've got to go off to some place to shower if you're lucky enough to even have a shower. You know, if you're not in the outback, everything's just a little bit tougher. It was pretty tricky for me to convince Jen to even come camping because she's like, "We got everything here. Why do we go in the woods and do all that stuff where it's even harder?" And I just told her because it's super fun. And now she believes me. <laughs> so, what do I do to kind of take the edge off some of those extra chores? That brings me to tea number 5. Shomei cake. White tea is super relaxing, calming even. You know, just kind of when you get a little bit frustrated or you're a little bit agitated about some of the work you have to do, you can calm down with white tea. I also find it's a great You know, if I want to switch my morning tea, I like white tea in the morning as well. It has a little kick, helps pep me up. So it's got multifunction, which, you know, when you're camping, you want everything in your backpack to have at least two functions, and all of my teas have at least two functions. So those are my top 5 camping teas in no particular order. Please, please leave a comment down below with your doesn't have to be 5, your top 1 camping tea, your top 25 camping teas, doesn't matter. Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know whenever we make a new video. And guys, until next time, keep steeping.